Good day everyone. I am Christian J. Vivalegas and along with me is Miss Jade Banwayungot to report to you about Module 17 entitled as Sternberg's Successful Intelligence Theory and WICS Model. Let's proceed. Robert Sternberg is an American psychologist that became prominent because of his successful theory, which contributed to the world of learning. According to Sternberg, successful intelligence is the ability to succeed in life, given one's own goals, within one's environmental contexts. It is maximizing one's own strength, not only to adapt to one's environment, but to also contribute significantly to society. This means that intelligence is attained with many ways. It has factors as well in achieving good intelligence. It is about environmental contexts, goals in life and strength that enables one to attain successful intelligence, enhancing our different capabilities and adapting to the environment we are in helps us to contribute significant learning to all. Here are the successful intelligence theory of Robert Sternberg. These are the four types of skills that compose the successful intelligence theory. And these are memory skills, analytical skills, creative skills, and practical skills. Moving on, we have the first skill, which is the memory skills. Memory skills helps us recall facts and pieces of information and allow us to retain the knowledge we acquire. One cannot apply knowledge which he cannot remember. Basically, this means that this is one of the skills uh, which is the memory skills, which refers to the ability of the mind to recall information and learning. Learn, relearn, and do the action of remembering everything because of our memory. The second type of skill is analytical skills. Analytical skills help the person determine if a certain idea is good. It allows us to think of new and better ideas. It means that through the use of our mind, where analytical skill is situated and where all analysis are derived, we are able to make appropriate and unique ideas and helps us to do possible action of determining ideas whether they are credible or not. It empowers our thinking to think of ideas or other matters. The third type of skill is all about creative skills. Creative skills allows a person to come up with new ideas for better solutions to a problem. It makes one flexible and able to adjust to change in one's situation. This refers to the idea of how amazing individuals are because of the fact that they can artistically and intelligently construct good solutions to support problems and many things that a great creative thinker has to provide. Being motivated, inspired, and flexible are products of an individual who consider themselves as possessing creative skills. The fourth and the last type of skill is all about practical skills. Practical skills enable a person to apply what one has learned. It gets us to actually do what needs to be done. Practical, which relates to the word practice, means that having this specific skill enables learners to apply what has been obtained. May it be things acquired related to education or other matters. The balanced combination of the four skills are what leads to successful intelligence. 
being able to possess or hold these essential skills are what leads people to greater and genuine success. In short, successful intelligence which are made possible in order to have a meaningful way of living. Each of us has its own unique way of practicing and improving these four major skills of Robert Sternberg. If all these are taught in a good and excellent way, then students will have to learn eventually that better fits their patterns of abilities. Let us be reminded that holding all this would improve our mind, memory, analysis, thus enables us to formulate innovative ideas and put all this into application. The WICS model. It is a model made and developed by Robert Sternberg in 2010. In the WICS model, intelligence is viewed as a set of fluid abilities to learn from experience and to adapt to one's surroundings. WICS model is a recent model of how humans think and reason that can help us understand how students will learn most effectively. It aims to develop basic abilities to true expertise. WICS stands for W for Wisdom, I for Intelligence, C for Creativity, and S for Synthesize. The WICS model aims also to develop our abilities. Sternberg presents a model for education that is relevant to the need of the times. He created this model simply because of the fact that it is what the education is needing right now and as well to the students most importantly. Your role as a teacher is not to educate the mind alone but to educate the soul as well. The role of a teacher must not to focus on enhancing and developing one aspect or domain of an individual or of an student, but to other aspects as well. In teaching, it is important to integrate questions, tasks, and activities that target the development of wisdom. Let us always remember to include or involve the use of questions, tasks, and activities to improve experience of students and further their learning. Applying Stenberg's WICS model in the teaching learning process through instructional and assessment uses. How to teach analytically. In teaching analytically, you need to make students use their critical thinking skills and to able to do that, you can design activities that can provide opportunity for the learners to analyze, critique, judge, compare and contrast, evaluate and assess. How to teach creatively? Creativity also applies in the learning process. Learn to think out of the box and design tasks and activities that enables the learners to create, invent, discover, imagine if, suppose that, and predict. How to teach practically. You have in mind some real-life situations where students can use what they learn to meet their own and others' practical needs. It is best to learn when real-life situations and experiences are being integrated in the learning process. Design tasks and activities that allow your students to apply, use put into practice, implement, and employ. How to teach for wisdom. Learning goes beyond about just gaining knowledge. One of the goals is for the learners to think and to see and understand the point of view of others. It is developing your learners to consistently act based on positive ethical values. You teach for wisdom when you are able to move your students to try to find common good, see things from others' point of view, balance your own interests with those of others and of institutions, Look at long-term as well as the short-term. 
reflect about how one can base his every decision on positive ethical values, appreciate that in life what is seen as true and effective may vary over time and place.